Okay, as this is the last week we're doing in the Chumash Vayikra. Unbelievable. It's a Shabbos Chazak, the Shabbos, and Shabbos Avorchem. An unbelievable beer from the Rebbe about the difference of a Korban Shergig and a Korban Mezid. I mean, Mezid is a Korban. A Korban Chatos, which is the difference of a Shergig and a Mezid. And the difference of an Oshem Vaden and an Oshem Tolu. Al Tadebbe the second time he was in jail. And there was a Misnagid, a wealthy man. And there was not a Misnagid, but he was sort of on that camp. And uh, he, he said to himself, you know, he wants to make Sholem in Klal Yisrael. He asked, he, 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 he went to visit the Al Tadebbe. And he said to the Alter Rebbe, "Look, they're going to uh, they're going to uh, they're going to inst- uh, instate a new uh, government, a new a uh, king. Uh, whatever happened to the previous king? Killed, died, and uh, he has he has connections, inside connections. And the uh, first day that the king will be in his office." Whatever is on the top of his desk, whatever is the first orders of business, so probably he'll be nice about those cases. The first day is always nice. Then the czars know how to become mean for the rest of their life. The first day they're nice. So, uh, so he's going to make sure that the the case that's holding the altar of his file is on top of the pile. So most like likely that things will go good. He wants a condition that the altar ever will go. And travel to three of the Gedoli Yisrael of those days. And try to talk to them and see. The Alter Rebbe agreed. I mean, that was already after the time of the Stalkus of the Goen. He asked them which which three Gedoli Yisrael you want me to visit. So he told them a name of three Gedoli Yisrael. One of them, besides being a Tamad Chacham Otsum, lived in Minsk, and he was uh, he was also a very rich man. He was a Goan Otsum. His name was Rabbi Yeshua Tzaitlin. And the Alter Rebbe came to visit him. So before saying Shom Aleichem, he's not going to spend time with an Amorit. So he says, how many times did it say Abayi in Shas? And how much time Rove? And, uh, and uh, you know, what is it? Uh, all kinds of questions like this, which today, if you just take your phone, you go like this. <laughs> you'll, you'll know all the answers. But uh, back then, the Mr. Google was in the head. Not as I. Al Tadeb answered him all like this. So he said, "Wow, I'm a Talmud Chacham, and I go into my house." So he wanted to, but he said it that he really wanted to trick the Al Tadeb. He heard that the story of the Al Tadeb. That when the Al Tadeb was in prison the first time, they they came with this black coach that they would take money to Mamalchus. Now Alter was put in this famous jail, infamous jail that today is a museum. All the enemies of the Tsars, you know, were taken there and were killed over there. And uh, now Alter Rebbe was out of Shabbos and he told them that they have to stop because I can't travel on Shabbos. So they refused. And then, the, the, miraculously, the, the wagon had a problem. A wheel broke. They fixed the wheel. A horse died. They got a new horse. Whatever they do, it, it was so they, they realized that it's the koyach of the Alter Rebbe. So they said, you know what? You win. We're going to town, to the nearest Jewish town. Alter Rebbe said, a little too little, a little too late. It's already Chatzois, Sayoim. I don't travel after Chatzois, out of Shabbos. You could pull over to the side over there, and we'll stay in the field for the rest of the Shabbos. And that's exactly what they did. And for years and years later, this was in a place near Neville, thank you. This was in a place near Neville. For years and years, Eden in Neville used to come to that spot where the Alter Rebbe stayed for Shabbos because it was a gorgeous tree that grew in that spot. 
That was a huge, huge tree and it was what you're talking about. This was already uh, 60 years ago that people used to still go to that spot. So it was an old tree. A big, thick, thick tree. People used to come and say, oh, this was the place. So to be sure it's safe and heard the story. He said, no, I want to test the Alta Deva. I want to see. I want to see if the story is true. So he calls out to, uh, to this guy's servant in his house. He said, Moishala, Moishala, Kim Tzahe. He says, Moishala, do me a favor. Go down the wine cellar. Bring me two cups of really good wine, the good stuff. The Machabed, a big Chosh of Aurach. This guy wasn't no Moishala, he was a Goy. But like in Jewish towns in those days, there were Goyim that grew up, you know, among the Jews. And they, they, they knew not only get filter fish and, and blunces, but they actually knew how to speak Yiddish. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to see would the Alta Rebbe take no. wine from a goy and drink the wine? This Yain Esach. If the Alta Rebbe is talking such a tzaddik as the Chassidim make him out to be, so the Gemara says that Lo Yuna Le Tzaddik Kolovan. For a tzaddik, there would never, there, there would never any, anything, would never be any harm to a tzaddik. Never harm can ever happen to a tzaddik. Maishala went down to the cellar, came back with two cups, and he gave it to Yeshua and gave Dal Terebi. Dal Terebi immediately closed his eyes and started to make a bracha with unbelievable kavona. And Yeshua was ishtoimim at the kavona, but he was thinking, wow, this guy isn't that great as they say. He's uh, drinking Yain Esach now. And the Alter Rebbe said, Boruch Ato Hashem Lekeinu Melech HaOilam Shahakul Niyah Bidvori And he took a sip. He said, the beer is terrific. But by the way, if there's any wine in the in the cellar, No, it's all true. It's all Yain Esach yes. right now because you sent a guy down to the cellar himself. And if he has the right to touch something because you gave him permission, so the wine is Yain Esach. And then the Alter went into a whole discussion about the about the about the mitzvah of the isur of lifne iver lesita michshul. You're not allowed to put a stumbling block to someone who doesn't know. So he said, but but but, but I I heard the story from your chassidim. So I wanted to test you. So the Alter had a whole discussion with him. If you're allowed to test someone, lo yunat tzadik alovim because the Gemara says a story talking about a pinchul menyoyin in the beginning of chulon of Zion that they uh, had that uh, all the adventures of the Rebbe Pinchas Benyar at the end they came to a to, they came to a rest stop and uh, they tied up the Chamoy like in those days in the rest stop they had like we have today parking lots and then they had the rest stop they would have uh, stables and then they you know you'd pay you'd pay a little bit they'd go out and they'd, uh, they'd give water and, and food to your like today, you could, you know, you have the, the guys filling up the gas. It's We were with the kids in Lancaster for for Cholamayit, and we stopped in Costco to see. There's two parking lots. There's a parking lot for cars, but the Hamish, and the Hamish like to shop in Costco, so they have we, yeah, they have a whole stable. The chaver come and arrive with the horse and buggy, mm -hmm. and the workers in the in Costco they take care of it. They tie them up. They take care of the horses. They take good care of their customers in Costco. <laughs> Which Costco? Costco in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's, uh, Hamish Town. It's the Hamish Town, exactly. Money, so, money Town. <laughs> so, the, he brought his awesome to the Moloin, and they tied him up, and they gave him water, drank, they gave him food, he refused to eat. So they say that they have a problem. This guy is not eating. So Repimchos Ben Yoy said something's not good with the food. So they checked and they saw that they warned Maase the food. The food was taken, not kosher, was devil. I don't know what. Whatever the whole has all discussion. Really, I mean, do you have to do you have to really take Maase for food that's for a camp or for a donkey for Hulu? Anyway. The Gemara says that it says in the Pesach, "Lo yuuna tzadik alovim, even behemta shal tzadikim." So he said, "The Alter Rebbe wanted to test the Alter Rebbe." 
So there is one biur that I've been, which uh, not today because I want to get to this biur. But based that, that there is a uh, what's the why is attacker that he has to bring a carbon when he does not avail the shogun? What did he do wrong? It was a mistake. Look, it's a mistake. But the answer is no, the, 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 the that is, high, is more more money when it's a mistake. Oh, so the the Oshem Tol and Oshem Vadis will talk today. There is Bechlal. Why, why if you why you bring a carbon chatos? So because you see a tzaddik wouldn't happen to a tzaddik. Why did it happen to you? Why did it happen to you? Is that I there's a problem here? So in this sikh we're going to learn about the difference of uh, a shoigig and a mazid. And what Shmuluk is talking about, the difference of a osham vada and a osham tolu. In the morning, when we say Ezim Akoim, when you talk about first about the chatoes, chatoes at Sibur, the chatoes at Yochid, and then you talk about Zivche Shalom at Sibur, the Ashamas. And there is Asham Vadai, the five Asham Vadai, and then there's Asham Tolui. In this Sikh, we'll talk about the difference of a Shogig and a Mazid, and an Asham Vadai and an Asham Tolui. And I think the reason that you ha- the Shogig has to give a Korban, he will try next time not to do this kind of Shogig. I hear. I hear. That's an explanation. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the uh, sicha here. Yeah. Mishnah says uh, the brayso says in Kriyos the fifth chesam and all of Tanya. Look no brayso. Asher ichet Hashem tolu a person that shechts and Hashem tolu. Bachutz outside of the base of Mikdash. So what's an Hashem tolu? Hashem tolu is different than a chatos. A chatos is is that um, a person ate. He ate something. He ate a kazais. He thought he ate a kazais of good fat. Good fat, kishmaka, fat a chomf. Turns out it was chaluf. Someone told him it was not shuman that you ate, it was chaluf you ate. He, so Mamela, he has to bring a korban, chatos. What chaluf? Uh, chaluf is the part that you're not allowed to eat. Type of fat. Or for example, he did a maloch. He thought it was Friday. They told him, no, it was not Friday, it was Shabbos. So he has to bring a korban, chatos. Hashem Tolu is now that the Gemara says the two kazais. One is a kazais of Chelu, one is a kazais of Shuman. It's not. There's no confusion. He knows that there's Chelu and the Shuman. But he doesn't real. He ate one of them. He doesn't know which one he ate. Did he eat the Chelu or did he eat the Shuman? That's what he doesn't know. That's called an Hashem Tolu. Chatas means he knows he did an Aveda. It's just at the time he didn't know something. He didn't know. He didn't know it's a malachi, he didn't know it's Shabbos, he didn't know this, he didn't know it's something he didn't know. But now he knows. Now he knows it was Shabbos, and that was a malacha, and he did a malacha. He ate it, he thought it was a nice piece of chal, now he knows it's chaylev. That's a kar muchatus. Hashem Tolu is, he still doesn't know. He doesn't know, he, doesn't, he has no idea. He ate one or two pieces. One was the kosher, one was the not kosher. One was the chaylev, and one was the shumah. The cow has parts that are chaluf, which are also, and the parts that are fatty, that are shuman. Me and you, with the eye, don't can't tell the difference right away. They're both, you know, fatty, big, clog up your arteries, and they're not healthy, and they're tasty. But so, the Sephardim, they have special masgirchim, know how to check the chaluf. I know. And they can eat the chaluf. Not once it's in the chon. <coughs> Even the expert doesn't know once it's in the chon. When it's in the cow, they could know. The cow, right. When it's in the cow, mm-hmm. they know. So this guy wasn't standing in the cow. He was standing in the kitchen. And uh, uh, he, he got mixed up. He know one of them is, is, is Chelev and one of them is Shuman. So that's an Osham Tolu. So let's let's go back. Let's uh, now to the Brais. So the Brais, Tanya. Tanya, Shaykhat Osham Tolu Bachutz. A person took an Osham Tolui and he shechted it outside of the Beis Amik. The Shirbi Meir Mechayev. The Meir says it's Chayev. Achatos or Chris Kodes, whatever, whatever would be Chayev. Then intentionally, not intentionally, it's Chayev. He did something wrong. He did. He took a carbon and he did. You're not allowed to shech the carbon Bachutz. Bachutz. Beis Amik. Bachutz. Right. By the now, when we're in the last portion of the portion of Yikra, when we know this already, right now. Good. 
Rev Chacham and Poitim. Chacham says Poter. And that's the way that Amma Paskins. Oshem told me, Bechatas Oif Habal Asafik. Because this, the Oshem told is coming on the Sofik and also Chatas Oif. Shekrivim Bachutz, when a person, if he was marked of it outside the base of Middash Potter, Shereloi Nikva Iser, there was never a Kavu de Keiser on the person. Chacham say, we don't know. It's The whole thing is a Sofik. If he did. The Abish said, go bring a carbon if it's a suffolk. If it was a vada you say you did, if you take a carbon, chatas in shechtet bachut, that's called shchut echutz. But Oshem Toli is not called shchut echutz, and that's what the halach is. Okay. Continue. I mean, pass like a chum, yochid verabim, attack. Okay, fine. Then the, there's a vaita the kigemara, a chayda totally not related. A different Gemara, a different Nambam. Kriyas Daf Chag Gimel on Beis. The Gemara says, "Amavi Oshem Toli, a person that brings an Oshem Toli." V'noida Loi Shaloi Chata. So now he made a chet by by bringing a kovin. No, he didn't yet bring. He brought the Oshem Toli. In other words. He didn't. He, he, he didn't mark it yet. No, no, no. He maybe he brought it, uh-huh. but he didn't. He didn't mark it yet. He designated a carbon for an Oshem Tali. But no, it was actually nishchat. If it was before, it was nishchat. Yitzav yidah be'ed. It should go out. And it's in other words, it's not chal any kedusha it. It could go back into the eider of all the regular chulim behemis. It's like a behemah like if, like nothing happened. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing happened. This is the words of Rebbe Meir. Chamim Ha'emrim, Chavim Say, Yire Ach Yistoev, it has to, it has to go out to graze until it gets a moon. Because the Kedush is here, but you can't bring it as a carbon. It's like one of those complicated cases. The Kedush is here, but a carbon can't be brought because the poil he 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 mm-hmm. found that he didn't do the chait. So how could he bring the carbon? And you can't, sell, hand, it. You can't sell it because it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you have that problem. But the kedusha you don't do after your makor. No, no. A person, no, no. But the person the, the, the announces it. The mayor says, "Yeah." The mayor says, "You're right. The kedusha is not chal yet." Chum say no. You actually it's tov that the kedusha already chal. Therefore, has to now go out and, and graze until it gets a mum, and then you mocher it gets. Sold, you put double in a dove, just like any carbon. Once it gets a moon, then you're allowed to sell it, and the money goes to the dove. Gemara says, Mike, please eat it. What's the machlok? Is it a mech? A mech? So, but a mech holds given the lot of clay because he doesn't need like Maktash. He never was Maktash, really. He's never Maktash to begin with his whole heart. Now he found out he never did a hate for sure. So there was never, there was never chal kedusha on this. Rabbanon says, Rabbanon says, "Mitzvah shall be benoikvoi," because his heart is bothering him. Going meromak, that she makes the hektish with his whole heart. Now that he found out that he didn't do the avera, okay, but he already made it. This is his part. He already made it hektish with his whole heart. Toisus points out. Toisus says, "This chachamim, the previous gemara, and this chachamim and this gemara cannot be the same chachamim." He says. He says over there, here the Chacham say that once he says that this is my carbon for my Aveda, bingo, it's a carbon. It's 100% Kedusha. So this Chacham would have to hold if you took this now, this carbon, and you took it out, Bachut, and you shechted it, that you'd be chayyab. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because that's Kachim Bachut. That's what Toysa says. Good. That's Toysa's opinion. It's logical. It makes sense. Just. Where's Tanakama buried? <laughs> Which Tanakama? The first Tana. Which Tana? There's a Chacham. Which Chacham? There can be a lot of Chacham. The Torah says that these Chacham and these Chacham are not the same Chacham. You know the story with the guy with Shmuel Aleph and Shmuel Beis. That's why Shmuel came and over. There's upstairs and downstairs. One's for Shmuel Aleph and the other's for Shmuel Beis. So. So Tosus says, don't get fooled. It's Chachamim and Chachamim, but they're not the same thing. Here the Chachamim say, Metoshali Benoikva, Gaimur Makdash, he makes it Hakkudusha. They would obviously hold 
if now it's 100% Kedusha and you take it out, that would be considered Shechita of Osha Bachutz, of a Korban Bachutz. However, the Rambam obviously doesn't agree with Toysvus. Because the Rambam, Paskins, like both Chachomim, together. The Rambam here says, Hey, Vyoshim Tolu, Vanoidolo, Shelechoto, Shechoto, Vadai. He found that he didn't sin, or forget, he for sure sinned, which again, there's no Oshim Tolu now. If it wasn't Shech, the idea that she pulled my mum, he pulled over the dove, that he has to, has to go out and graze until it gets a mum. And then you can use the money for an adove. And they should leave the shadow of Dove al Avanosev. That a person feels very bad about his sins. Now he was marked the shit. So, Frekzch the Shaila, wait a minute. Well, the Mephoshim asks, wait a minute. Here you're telling me that it became Mamish Kedusha. Because he feels bad about his sins, it became Kedusha. So, why does that Amam previously Paskin like Chachamim? Uh, he thinks, oh, Chacham, Chacham. Loch is always like Chacham. But you're telling me that he was Gomer Makdish and therefore it's Mamish Hektish. He found out that Loi uh, doesn't matter. So, why is it if you take it out of the Mesa Mikdash, it's considered Shchut Echut? So, the Rebbe answers, Push it. There's two dinim in hektish. There's two dinim in hektish. There's the din of the person and metzah dini shemai. There's the din of the person that he feels that he feels remorse for his hate and therefore he brings a korban. And then there's klapishmai galia, what he did and what he didn't. So metzah the person gomor maktish. So therefore, there's a certain chalois of kedusha and the money, at least the value of the money, belongs to hektish. You can't, so you have to take this cow and sell it and use the proceeds for hectish. But, but, uh, but the, uh, but when it comes to Lagavi Shemayim, Klapishmaya Galya, he might have not done, you can't say it's, it's Mitzat Shemaya Galya, he maybe didn't do the Chet, and they know, heaven knows what he did and what he didn't do. So therefore, shchut echutz is only when it's vada shchut echutz. If it's not shchut echutz, the Rebbe thinks that maybe they could say that that's a pshat also in the lacha mishnah. What the lacha mishnah meant, it's not so clear in the words. Anyway, that's a pshat. Now let's talk about it up chesedus, and this will understand take will give an understanding what's going on. There is arba arabene yoyna, very important arabene yoyna, right in the beginning of Maseches Baruchas. Giving us a broch is what the Gemara we're learning right now. So we're learning now something that's in the gate to Gemara also. The Gemara starts off, When is the night when you have three medium stars? Three medium stars. The night when you have three medium stars. The Rishonim say, You know which is the medium stars? You don't do any malacha when Shabbos goes out until you see the small stars, not the medium stars. That, that makes the difference. The medium stars and the small stars is what, today we're not looking for stars. There's someone that sets up a calendar for us. So, um, for example, for a fast day, we go with the medium stars, Taka. So we say after Shkia, about in New York, it's around 25 minutes after sunset, the fast is over. 30 minutes after sunset, the fast is over. Because we're looking for the medium. Whatever cheshven it is, how many degrees under the, has to dip under the horizon. Um, whatever the cheshven is, the bottom line is that most calendars have it somewhere 20, 25 minutes. I'm sorry, 25, 30 minutes. But when it comes to Shabbos, calendars are usually... 42 minutes, something like that. I'm talking about Chabad calendars. In other words, have more, 50 minutes or more even. Why? Because the Rishonim say, well, you, you, you know, so now there, even though now we do know what's about Lepoil, the Rishonim say that you should look not for the Kechavim Beninim, you should call a look for the Kechavim Ketan. That's why there's a longer, we, we keep Shabbos longer. I mean, you add up to the time, another 42 minutes? And Not another, another 42 minutes. minutes. So, so, so who makes, so another, who makes the Chabad calendars? Uh, it's based on the calculation. Who's the Hashem, these minutes? 
The, based on the Rabbi Rabbi uh, Rom Chaim Noah, the Ketzer Shulchan. Okay, so how did he do it based upon what? Like, how did he determine which stars are which? Oh, how did it look? Oh, for that you have to read a sefer. Uh, which paper? Ketzer uh, Shulchan. Ketzer Shulchan. That's the. There's a safer called him Avram Chaim Noah. So it's a shulchan. So, so same, same name. Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you do? Do you, do you, do you even so with the astronomers or what? I don't know. Read, read. There's a lot of cheshbonas there. Do they have any? Uh, they have it in the library, I think. Yeah, yeah. Library. Him and Michal Yechiel Michal Tigushinsky worked together on this. Anyway. Back to uh, Rabbeinu Yoyna. Rabbeinu Yoyna says that uh, don't don't take this lightly, the extra minutes that you have to wait until you see the small stars. Because, he says, if you look at, and think about this, we see that Chazal said that a person brings a korban chatas bazdanka, osham bashtayim. Osham is too slow. And the slow is... is uh, Every cella is this amount of dinrim, and every day six mm-hmm. dinrim is dinrim is this, this amount of moin. So the whole cheshbon comes out that a danka is one forty eighth of a, of two sloim. So a korban osham is forty eight times more expensive than a korban chatos. Why? And the minute this is dikin, you know, the is the chuva. If a person knows that he'd sinned, he does right away tshuva. If a person thinks, maybe he sinned, maybe he didn't sin, was it Shabbos, was it not Shabbos, was it Benesh Moshes, was it not Benesh Moshes, it has a yes man tefillah, was it not man tefillah, was it yes man krishna, was it not man krishna, was it yes Shabbos, was it not Shabbos, what's the time, maybe it is this, maybe it's that, so he's never remorseful, because he thinks that maybe he did the right thing. So therefore, you got you to pinch him much harder. The pinch has to be 48 times much stronger, and then... And then he'll do tshuva. That's the word of the Bnei Yoyna. That's the bottom line of what the Bnei Yoyna says. It's mamish daf aleph in the seches brachas. It's not the Bnei Yoyna and shari tshuva. It's it's the Bnei Yoyna daf aleph in the seches brachas. So you know, in other words, you don't have to end up learning Musa seder in your yeshiva to get mm-hmm. to this. Even if your yeshiva doesn't have a Musa seder, you can end up learning this Bnei Yoyna. This is very nice in the Gavra. But what's in the Chefza? I mean, the, the every carbon has to do with the Pegam. How big the Pegam is, that's how strong the carbon has to be. Where do we see in the, in the Pegam itself that and the Aveda of an Oshem Tolui is 48 times worse, and the Pegam is 48 times deeper and therefore, you need 48 times a deeper cleansing in an Oshem Tolui than a Chatas. Why? How? How come? So the Rebbe says like this. Bring us back to what we were discussing before. What if a person did a mistake? Why does he have to bring an atonement? He did it, a Korban Chatas is for Shoigig. Why does he have to bring a Korban? What did he do wrong? It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Elamai. The Avoid is not because of the mistake. How did he get to that mistake? So the question is, how does a person get to that mistake? At Sadiq, it never, like the story of the Pinchas Ben Yoyer, the story of the Alter Rebbe, we said before, with the wine and the beer. The Alter Rebbe doesn't end up drinking wine, that's Yai Nesach. The Alter Rebbe doesn't end up traveling on the road accidentally in Shams, even when he's in the black coach and going to jail. So, and if they're trying to force him, the wagon is going to break, and the wheel is going to break, and the horse is going to die, but he's not traveling in Shams. How come that happened to me and you that such a thing happened? So Shaila is, what's going on the 10 years before the Chet? Like the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya Perikir Gimel, that the, the person allows that Nefesh Abahamah should become strong. The person is totally desensitized to spirituality. So therefore it becomes that he has Aveda B'Shoigik. In other words, like this. But the Shaila is, What's the mahus of the person? When a person says and premeditates what he's going to say, it could sound like a very wise person. But dafka, the slip of the tongue, is where you know where a person really stands. When the, 
When a person has a slip of the tongue, you know, ah, you know where the person really is, where the person really stands. <clears throat> so the Kshaya Shaila is, where is the pleasure and passion of a person? If a person is being over in Aveda, amazed. We don't know. Maybe it's a temporary thing. For whatever reason, that we know what his mice said. He did a sin. He did the wrong thing. It's not Dafka. Maybe the Dafka. Maybe it was Lahachas. He's angry. He's really angry at God right now. So he ate a piece of pork. Okay. It's not a nice thing. But it doesn't tell you what's going on in the depth of his nefesh. Probably has an anger management problem. But uh, otherwise, you don't know the Oymek and Nefesh what's going on. But when instinctively, instinctively, without realizing a person did an Aveda B'Shoigig, so the question is, maybe this is telling you what's the mahus of the person. That in the inside, the person is rotten. The, the person's passion and pleasure is not in Kedusha. And it's the opposite in anything which is the opposite of Kedusha. Therefore, a person needs a korban dafke for the shagig, not for the mazit. The mazit, he'll talk to the Rebbe Shalom, he'll ask for forgiveness. But the shoy, the, the, the uh, mazit, the pagam is the aveda. But in shagig, the pagam is in the nefesh adam. What's going on? How do you, how do you not realize? If a person is angry at God, he's machal Shabbos. The he has to, he has to, he has to ask for forgiveness. He has to talk to God. He has to, he has to do tshuva. But in a way, the Pagama and the Nefesh and the Shoigig is very deep here. It's deeper. What's going on? How did the person end up at Lo Yehudin? Let's say it's Lo Yehudin Ka'avan. It's an indication where the person's passion and pleasure is. This is, this, this is the slip of the tongue that shows where the person is. The, instinctively, he's being drawn to the Aveda. This Dr. Rebbe explains an humble thing, liberal thing in the Kisverizal. The Kisverizal says that a person is Nizar Masha Chomets is not going to sin a whole year. Wow. So you're telling me that how is Eichet to have a good Pesach? That's it, an insurance policy. A whole year I'm not going to sin. So tell me, wait, wait, one second, wait a minute. Then this whole thing doesn't work out. This, this goes contrary to you know, basic Jewish thought. So there's no Bechira Chavshis anymore. That's it. This year there's no Bechira Chavshis. Because I'm not, I'm guaranteed. I'm not going to sin. So if I sin, you're going to tell me I didn't keep Pesach. Okay, but if I did keep Pesach, I'm not going to sin. So there's no Bechira Chavshis. So the Rebbe says, yeah. Sure there's Bechira Chavshis. Amazing. You're never going to be, uh, 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 sure. You can say you're never going to be, uh, be amazing. The guy's angry at God. He's going to turn on his car on Shabbos. Who's going to hold you back? That's, there's a Bechir HaChavshis. Abishah doesn't take away Bechir HaChavshis. But there's something worse than turning on the car on Shabbos. He forgets his Shabbos. And he turns on a fire. That's worse. That, a person is protected. Because there's Nizr and Asr HaChavshis. So in a certain degree, he became a Mahus of Kedusha. He's never going to be drawn to Avedis B'Shoigin. Just like we say by tzaddik, lo yudna lo tzaddik kolovin. This person is not going to be drawn to chayt. And why dafke from the from being nizah from a mashu chametz? Because matzah is the in a bittel and a muna, and that draws a yitzah that kima mitzvahs. And chametz is the opposite, as yeshus and gaivim brings the ora. Whatever. There's many ways you could explain this, but that's the bottom line. That the, that is also meant that the person is never going to sin that year b'shoigig. He's never going to be drawn because he ha- he went through such a Kedusha Dika experience on Chag Pesach. So going into Svira Sa'ayim and Shavuos the rest of the year, he's never going to be drawn into Aveda B'Shoigin. But B'Mezid? That's B'Chira Chavshis. The person is not taking away B'Chira Chavshis. So the Rebbe says, a beautiful word. That's why whenever the Gemara usually talks about Akor Machatos, um, or say a korban oshem tolu. The common example the Gemara gives is kazayis chelav and kazayis shuma. Sometimes the Gemara gives other examples, but usually this is the most common example all the way through Shas. 
What, what, when you bring the Korma Khatos, it was a Kiyeda Kazais. And then they told them, hey, we told you this? This wasn't Chon. This is not, you thought you ate a good piece of Pecha? This wasn't Pecha. This was, uh, this yeah. is, this is, this is Chaylev. This came from Burger King. This didn't come from Yankel's Deli. Oy, oy, oy. That's, but uh, what is Oshem Tolui? That there's two pieces. One is a Chaylev and one is a Shuman. And he's confused what's what. They ate one of them. Why is the Gemara using this example? Yeah, you can say it's a good example. It's okay. In Nigali, you can't ask it, such a question. Because if the Gemara is going to give a different example, you can say, why is that example? <laughs> but, uh, but in the Siddhas, everything is Bidu and Torah The Rebbe says that the, the, because any Isra he does is a Suffolk Chelek, a Suffolk Shuman. It's a Suffolk, where's the Gishmak? Shuman is, is, is the Indian of Tainu. Where's the tainug of the person? Is it in kosher, in kosher type of tainug? Or is the etzema tainug is not kosher stuff? If the etzema tainug is in kosher stuff, then he's never going to be drawn to Aveda. If it's not, if it's unfortunately in bad stuff, then he'll be drawn to Aveda. This also now answers, just like we understand the difference of a shogig and a meze, that in a certain sense, Aveda b'shogig is worse. In a certain sense, uh, Oshem Toloi is the worst of the worst of the worst. You'd say a chatos, he for sure didn't have it. Oshem Toloi is a suffix. So why is that worse? Not just because of the gavra, like Rabbi Yoyana says, in the chefts itself. Because if a person does Aveda, so till he did the Aveda, obviously there's something wrong. But once he did Aveda, he feels bad. He realizes he did something wrong, it gets a chachap, oh, something is wrong in my life. I have to change. Things have to change. From today, things have to change. I did an Aveda, it was accidental, there's something's wrong in my life, I have to change. When he does an Oshem Tolui, he still doesn't know if he did something wrong. Mm -hmm. So even now, he's so, the, the, he's so wrapped in, he doesn't know what's good and what's bad, what's right and what's wrong. Right now he doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. The other guy who's bringing a card, Mechatos, the Nefesh Bahamas is dragging him down, but he, Be'etzem is good. And he realizes Nefesh Bahamas is dragging him down, so he's stopping, he's stopping, he's screaming, don't, don't drag me down. I'm going to drag you to the base of Mikdush. But this guy was in Hashem Tolui, not only the yesterday is bad, he, not only the yesterday was rotten, the today and the tomorrow is rotten. He can't even decipher right now what's going on with him. So therefore, Hashem Tolui, the Pagam of an Hashem Tolui, is 48 times worse, and it takes 48 times more to expunge the ra that comes into a person when it's Suffolk Chelek, Suffolk Shuman, versus when he ate Vaday Chelev. That's why our Korb Mechatas is 48 times cheaper. Time is short. Mitzvah Shem, another time we'll fill in. There's another, it's like Onasov stories from, uh, from Tzadikim and Abayim that, uh, that are unbelievable, that apply to this Indian. But anyway, the story of the Al Tereb with the Rishot Seitlan is great. Yeah. And the, the bottom line is, this is the difference between a shoygig and a mezid and an asham vad and an asham tolu. And not only in the gavra, in the cheft sataka, where the person is. So the Rebbe says, now we can go back to the, to the steed and the two rambams. Where the rambam learns not like toys for The rambam says, a chachomim is chachomim. But on the one hand, he said, we say that once he makes an Oshem Tolu, he makes a commitment, he designates this cow as a Korban, even though lady founds out that he didn't do the Chait, it stays hectish. And therefore, Yire, Achi, Stoav, Yipla, Dom of La Hektish. So this, this cow stays Kedushadik. But if he took the cow outside, it's not Shchutik Kuchutz. Why? Because as far as the person's concern, Liba Dov, right, on the person, the Nefesh Odom, Liba Dov Al Chatov, he has an unbelievable pain that he realized, what's going on with me? I don't know the right from the wrong, I don't know the good, I don't know from the bad. How am I drawn to bad all the time? How come Tzaddikim are never drawn to bad and I'm always drawn into bad? How come I end up that Shoigig and even worse, Hashem Toli, I'm being dragged into it. Even now I don't know what's going on, so I feel very bad. So therefore I'm maktash the korban with my whole heart. So therefore even though now I found out I didn't, so, but what's the difference? I realize I have a problem with my nefesh. So therefore it's maktash b'chol But 
clap when it comes to shkutei chutz. It's still kodesh to go outside to get a mum. But until it gets a mum, mitzad the person. But mitzad clap ishmaya galia. If it's negay, if he takid the daveda or not, and therefore mitzad shkutei chutz, it's not shkutei chutz if it's an oshem toli. Oshem vade shkutei chutz. Oshem toli is not shkutei chutz. The meila apichsidus. It, it's, it makes it much sweeter and much more understandable the discrepancy in the two Rambams and the two Chacham. On the one hand, we say the person fears tell, terrible that he was confused if he ate Chelev and Shuma, and then once he, he may uh, dedicate a Korban, that Korban is hectic. And that's it. Even though he found out he didn't say now, Yirach, Yistoev, now you have to wait till it gets a Mum and the money goes to the to, to Nadova. The other hand, as far as heaven's concerned, they know if he did the sin or not. He still has a problem because there's a problem with him in his soul. What is going on with me that I don't know what's right and what's wrong? How am I drawn to hate? So the person feels bad and he should feel bad. And therefore, the mitzad, the money part that he gave, the, that stays kedusha always. But if he takes the, if a person would take this carbon out of the base of and shechtet, so the question is, is it called shchut echutz, a carbon? So if it's a korban chatos, yeah, that would be shchut echutz. Any korban that you take out, that's called shchut echutz. That's a terrible sin to take a korban from the base of mikdash and shecht it outside. But oshem tolui, because the ebish shadok knows if it is or it isn't, so that can't be considered shchut echutz because the ebish knows, and but we don't know. So therefore, shchut echutz is only something that you know for sure that he was over that vein. So the uh, Shalhof from going now from uh, from Pesach, the Zoya says that we're going from Pesach to Shavuos. It's one big cholamay. Wow. So definitely, all of us uh, put in all our effort to try to uh, to try to keep Pesach as much as we could. To say the story of one of uh, one of the Choshevets, so they gave the name that uh, he was coming home. I mean, he worked so hard to make his matzah, and he saw a need walking with a package of matzah. So much simcha, and uh, yeah, you know the story. So he says, "Where work with so much simcha?" So he says, "Because I bake matzah. How do you know there's no chametz in your matzah?" He says, "I have a talk in the Rebbeinu Shalom. I did my part." So the seed said, "You know what? You want to change with me?" Sure, Rebbe. You're going to give me your matzah? Sure. They exchange packages. The seed comes. In. The tzaddik comes home, he tells his wife, wow, I have the best matzah in the world. He tells his wife the whole story. So the wife smiles, she says, that Yitaka got the best matzah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, zikr, that every one of us put in the whole effort. The, obviously, that Izal tells us that there's a special segula. So, taka, the segula should help. And our etzim and efes should always be in Yonah Toi Kedusha. There should never be a sofak chayla or a sofak shuman. Always that our gishmak should be in kedusha, like uh, Rebbe Nochem of Chernobyl, which I got today is uh, the the of the of Rebbe Nochem Chernobyl. No, yesterday was. So the Ayyemim says that uh, he was he was a big guy, and he said that it wasn't from Cholent and Kuku. It was from Omen Yehesh Meirava. So uh, okay, we don't, we, none of us want to gain weight, but the new will it's Nishal Zayim the Rebbe Nochem. Even if we'll have pleasure, love the after we'll gain weight from this. If we do, we'll take a, we'll, we'll, we'll exercise a little bit. All of us should be zerich and it's Hashem going out of this Pesach and out of this Svidas uh, Oymer that our Chelev and our Shuman should be all in Toivu Kedusha. Amen. Amen.